here. <laughs> I didn't even know there was stand-up comedy here tonight. I see a microphone. I think it's karaoke night. Because, <laughs> you know, karaoke and Hello Kitty, that's like crack to little Asian girls. <laughs> Pachaco. <laughs> I need you in my life. <laughs> I love this place, the Comedy Underground, it's pretty cool. It's like dark and the ceilings. I don't know, it kind of reminds me of the Nike factory back home. <laughs> like, why does it smell like shoelaces and broken dreams in here? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm excited, this guy's laughing hard. I recognize you from my day job at the massage parlor. What's up, baby? <laughs> Happy ending. Number five special. It's <laughs> <That's> great. <laughs> he's blushing and he's black. <laughs> I love it. I actually uh, love Seattle. It rocks. It's totally awesome. I'm originally from Louisiana, which is awesome if you're Asian and you want to get beat up every single day. I was like, yes. My goals are met. <laughs> The worst part about growing up in Louisiana is I'm Vietnamese, learning about the Vietnam War in history class. Woohoo! That was fun. <laughs> One time the tension was so thick, I decided to break the silence. I stood up on my desk. I was like, guys, it's okay. <laughs> we won! <laughs> Then I got beat up again. <laughs> I love uh, being a stand-up comedian. It's awesome. It's one of the best jobs in the world. It took a lot for this to happen, though. I didn't just get up here and start telling jokes out of nowhere. You know, it took a lot for this to happen. I'd like to thank a lot of people in my family. You know, I'd like to thank my older sister for uh, dropping out of medical school with a 0 0.5 GPA. Yes. <laughs> my brother for coming out of the closet with a <laughs> in his mouth. <laughs> Setting the standards nice and low for Rosie. <laughs> I'm like, uh, I want to tell jokes for a living. My parents are like, uh, we've given up on life. <laughs> Whatever you want. Traditional Asian parents, very conservative. Uh, they recently tried to trick me into getting a real job. You know, they sent my cousin to come visit me. She's one of these obnoxious overachievers. Oh, you feel like a failure every time, right? A little dagger in the heart. She's like, what's up, Rosie? Yeah, uh, I just graduated from nursing school. Yeah, I just helped find the cure for stopping the spread of precancer cells. What did you do this week? I'm like, uh, I told dick jokes in a basement. High five. <laughs> dick jokes. Yes. It's good. <laughs> My mom wants me to get married. If, uh, in Vietnamese culture, if you're not married by the time you're 25, you're considered an old maid. That's kind of crazy, right? <laughs> Are you unmarried? <laughs> do something. Come on, propose. Are you Vietnamese? Oh! Got one in the front. Good night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she's proud, man. We're proud. <laughs> See, she's dipping into the little white loving right there. <laughs> I've crossed over too. I'm, you know, I've, I've dated some white guys. They're pretty cool, but uh, a little kinky sometimes. Some of the guys have little Asian fetishes, kind of creepy, right? <laughs> You know what I'm talking about? My uh, ex-boyfriend into, was into these like, role-playing games and stuff. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, right? Games like executive and secretary, huh? <laughs> Doctor and nurse. <laughs> Vietnam soldier and refugee. <laughs> <laughs> he would try to rape me. My brother would come out from under the bed and stab him in the face. I'm like, oh. <laughs> Stop trying to ruin my sex life. <laughs> I thought you were gay. <laughs> it's fun. I, uh, it's hard, it's hard to think, especially for my generation, to go out and you know, like meet people and date and find decent, because I'm a skank people, but they're like super skanks out there. That They carry the torch, they have little low cut pants, they pull their thongs up on the way, you know, the tramp stamps on the back. <laughs> I went to this one nightclub, 2 a.m. last call, it turned into Girls Gone Wild. <laughs> There are girls like making out with each other. I totally hate the show. Have you guys seen the show, Girls Gone Wild? It's a little infomercial. I totally, first of all, totally racist show. You never see a minority on Girls Gone Wild. It's always some drunk ass white chick. What's up? That's not fair. I want to be on Girls Gone Wild, right? <laughs> you would never see an Asian girl on Girls Gone Wild because she would be at home studying. <laughs> Locked up in a room studying plant biology. <laughs> I think you would never see 
see a black or a Latino woman on Girls Gone Wild, as soon as a camera guy asked her to flash her <laughs> she would just punch him out, right? <laughs> Throw her baby at him. <laughs> All right, you guys are awesome. I'm Rosie Tran. Thank you so much. <laughs>